Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shanka Show, stories about life in the Soviet Union. So in my recent video about Soviet firefighters, I mentioned the fact that I don't recall seeing ever fire hydrants on the streets of Kiev or any other towns or cities in the USSR. And I had several comments from the people who used to be in a firefighting in the former Soviet Union and they explained that they had a quite a funky system of installing fire hydrants when you need water to fight the fire. But of course it's way better to see one time than trying to explain 10 times. And I found a video where they demonstrate how to install fire hydrant. And that's the fire truck that I remember in the 70s and 80s on the streets of Kyiv. It's based on a ZIL 130 truck was built in Moscow. So that's is a still Soviet era fire truck. All right, so let's see how it's done. So upon arrival on the scene, you need to locate a manhole with the proper fire water connection. And it's just like bring your own bottle, bring your own fire hydrant. So let's see how much time it takes. So you need to install fire hydrant yourself. So picture there is a fire, people are screaming, but you need to work on opening the manhole, which sometimes can be a challenge. It could be covered by snow or a car could be parked on it. So here you go. And he got uh, open. And now there is the small opening there that he need to open the lid. And that's for the connection for the fire hydrant. What I was told, you need to stay away clear uh, from the top of the fire hydrant. But in case if the something's broken down the low, below the inner connection, the fire hydrant could shoot straight up the air. So I guess there were firefighters killed staying above. So now fire hydrant is connected and now he slowly opens the valve. So this is goes way down low uh, for the main water supply. Now he needs to open a side valve to vent it and let the water flow. Okay, venting is done. And only now you're pretty much ready to start connecting your fire hoses and start fighting the fire. So big is safety concern. If something wrong with the valve below, this whole fire hydrant system can shoot up in the air and kill you if you don't remember staying clear. And now you remove the fire hydrant. Once again, it's also lefty loosey, righty tighty. So it's universal system. Looks like everywhere. And that's how it works in the Soviet firefighting, installing and removing your own fire hydrant. And here's another video from modern day Russia. It shows what to do if the fire hydrant connection fails to engage and you can't shut off the water. So you basically, <laughs> there is a work around it. You need to remove the fire hydrant while water is still coming out. And then you need quickly to use a different special tool to shut off the main water supply. So as you see, definitely, it has a lot of issues, this system. And once again, you know, try to find that uh, manhole. You need to know the locations. And of course, someone need to keep maintenance on, maintenance on these things and periodically cycle the valve, lubricate them. And I don't know how can, how can you lubricate those connections inside of the manholes. So this is how bring your own fire hydrant system worked in the Soviet Union and the modern day Russia and Ukraine. I'm not a big fan of that system. I like to have fire hydrant available right away. You basically run to it, you remove the caps, you connect your hoses, and then you just have a tool on your truck that you start opening the fire hydrant and you start fighting fire. So you're saving a lot of time and I believe Usually normal fires, they double in size like every 15 minutes. So every second counts. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this little educational video and we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye.